Oh man, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's a Giants game day. Go Big Blue. But anyways, um, Matt here. It is uh, Wednesday, September 24th, 2008. Um, thanks for uh, watching the video, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, Plexico Burris uh, suspended for not making it to practice. Apparently his agent says it was family emergency. Don't understand why he wouldn't be able to pick up the phone, Plex. But, um, I'm not really worried about playing Seattle because they're definitely not as good as they used to be. And I'm very confident in Steve Smith, and I'm hoping Mario Manningham gets a chance to play in that one, uh, which looks likely. Um, but what I am worried about how is how uh, Plexico being suspended is going to affect the Giants' chemistry in the long run this season. But believe it or not, that's not why I made this video. Um, there's just some kid, and don't mind the glare in my glasses, but um, there is this kid. I'm getting rid of that. There is this kid on here on YouTube. His, um, there you know. There we go. There we go. There's this kid on YouTube, uh, Bis Hopeless. I don't know how you pronounce it. B I S Hopeless, whatever. But, kid, you're hopeless. So, uh, he is too afraid to show his face and make his own videos. So, he can't buy a camera and any of that. Um,. He just has uh, he just has stolen clips of the Cowboys playing so far this season as his videos. Put some rap music on it. So um, great job, Bis. Yeah, it's hopeless. I'm just gonna call you Bis Hopeless. All right. So great job with your videos. I see you're putting a lot of effort into making them and really voicing your opinion and showing yourself. So that's great job. Now this is an actual uh, message of. Uh, what he said to me because he's one of those Dallas fans who's just in denial every single year, every single game, all the time. Here he is, this is what he said. <coughs> Let's see, put the uh, volume down. Here we go. This is what Miss Hope was uh, needed to say to me. Yeah, Dallas beats the Giants three out of the last four games. In case you don't remember, because you don't remember, because you're a Super Bowl bandwagon jumper that probably has watched four to five games so far. Well, um, uh, Miss Hopeless, if, uh, you watch my videos, so far I did a video on the Redskins. That was opening night, that's one game. And I did a video on beating the Rams, that's two games. Just did a video on beating the Bengals, that's three. And if you go to my uh, account, gggmen101, you can see that I made a video about people who think the Giants are bandwagon fans, and I mentioned that I was at the Super Bowl, which I should personally thank you, because if it wasn't for us beating your team in their own stadium, we wouldn't have made it to the Super Bowl, so thank you for that. And uh, I also mentioned that I was at the um, first home game of the season last year, when I see Uminura, who's injured, had that amount, had the record amount of sacks on Donovan McNabb and his Philadelphia Eagles. So thank you, Hopeless, for uh, letting us beat your team. And because um, I gotta say, if it wasn't for that, think of all the positive things that came out of the Giants beating the Cowboys. I mean, we made it to the Super Bowl. We won the Super Bowl. We got the chance to beat up on the 18-0 Patriots. Also, we got to see one of the greatest like entertainment bits in pop culture. T.O. crying, which I would love to see more of, and I'm sure um, when Tony Romo figures out which way he'll blow his playoff chances again, we'll probably see that again. So, um, I understand actually T.O. is talking to Tony Romo about their next vacation destination. Apparently T.O. and Jessica want something different than Mexico, and or Tony Romo and Jessica want something different than Mexico, and T.O. is probably going to help him out with that. So let's continue with this. Not only did we beat your team three out of the last four games, we stomped in capital letters your team three of the last four games, because you're not stealing that from Michael uh, Strahan, are you? Um, unlike squeaking out a W when time expires, unlike a team around here. Like squeaking out a W when time expires? Hmm. We probably did that a couple times, but... Your team, the Dallas Cowboys, they had a tough, they had, a, they had some trouble squeaking out that W, didn't they? Tony Romo had a chance, started running right down the field, throws right into the hands of, who was it, I think it was McCorders. 
Looking for T.O. in the end zone. You could not squeak out that W as time expired, could you? Oh, the seconds just ticked away and the time expired. I guess the team around here that you're referring to is the Dallas Cowboys. Well, you're not as dumb as I thought you were. Uh, let's see what else. And when Dallas sweeps the Giants again, I can say Dallas beat the Giants five out of the last six games. And the only game Giants won was a squeaker. It was a... No, it is actually a... Uh, S-Q-E-A-K-E-R, a skeeker. The only game the Giants won was a skeeker. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Huh. Well, you know, I actually, I also heard that the NFL is going to make a new rule that just because you beat a team in the regular season, it won't matter if you lose in the playoffs. You'll still make it to the Super Bowl. Uh, hopeless. I didn't know if you knew this, but that means absolutely nothing if you can't back it up in the playoffs. It means absolutely nothing. I'm not sure if you knew that. Um, all right, now we got a little threat from him. Here we go. Ready? Enjoy this fluke playoff run your team just did. Yeah, fluke. Uh, well, before the playoffs, we won 10 straight road games. Then we, um, no, I think at the end of the playoffs, 11 straight road wins. I think that was it. We went to Tampa Bay. Not that hard. Beat Tampa Bay. Um, I think after that we went to Dallas and beat all those front runners. I'm not calling people in Dallas front runners. I'm not calling anyone front runners. I'm just saying I hate when I meet a person who lives all the way up here in Connecticut who doesn't know anything about the Dallas Cowboys and just wears a Tony Romo jersey. That's what I'm talking about. So we went to Tampa Bay. Went to Dallas. Beat them. Uh, beat Green Bay. I'm Brett Favre. And then we beat the 18 and New England Patriots, and uh, we actually, in the last game of the regular season, we played the Patriots, and we scored more points against them than any other team in the NFL, and then in the Super Bowl, we were the only team to beat them. You're right, that is a complete fluke. I am so sorry. Because uh, Giants ain't winning shit for another 10 years with that sorry-ass team. Hmm. This will buy Giants fans climax for the next 10 to 15 years. So, yes, talk your shit now while you still can. Well, uh, you're talking like your team has done something. I'm The last bling bling your team has had hasn't been since 1995. I have no clue how old you were then. But So, uh, it's hopeless. Why don't you show your face and make a video and actually learn something before you talk? Um, just because you're an uh, aggravated uh, Dallas Cowboy fan doesn't mean you can come on here and talk absolutely, uh, like, you make no sense at all. You can't even... <laughs> I'm just laughing at all your messages, and I, I see you commenting on everyone else's videos. You have no sense at all. It is the funniest thing. So uh, don't worry, there's a, a bunch of Dallas fans on here that I respect, and they actually know what they're talking about. So I don't go at it with them. But you, your Dallas fan has no clue what the heck you are talking about. Do you really think if you go 13-3 and and beat the Giants two times in the regular season, it's going to matter if we come and beat you at your own house? Do you really think you going 13-3 and matters? Because we beat you when it matters. So, like, shut up. And until you make a video of yourself and not stealing uh, other people's clips and doing all that, you have no room to talk. So you know what? Hopeless, why don't you come back, um... Message me in my little profile, or you could steal more clips and do that if you want. But next time your team actually does something productive in the playoffs that actually matters, then you come talk to me, all right? And uh, by the way, aside from all of that and that idiot who thinks he knows uh, what the heck he's talking about, um, uh, I heard from Cop Hizzle's video, uh, Packers fan 9191, his brother, who I actually did watch a video or two from, Giants Mania 89. It's in a car crash and paralyzed, and um, my uh, thoughts and prayers are with um, Packers fan 9191 and your brother, and hopefully uh, we'll see him back on here one day sooner than later, uh, making some videos and backing up the Giants. Uh, so thoughts and prayers are with him, and uh, uh, we hope the best. We hope for the best. So to be hopeless, get a life. Get a life. Because you are absolutely, you're, it's just funny. 
All right, so um, I'm out. Uh, New York Giants got a bye this weekend. It's going to be pretty boring. So, uh, And Dallas has another tough game coming up, home against Washington. So uh, I'm Matt. Go Giants. I'm out.